the eight years. <sighs> yeah, both of us. Because Emma included. Yeah, Emma included. Because you've been super busy. Mm -hmm. Like usual, because I'm amazing. Yeah, I'm really, really tired this morning because we had to get up stupid early to get it's, to. According to my wrist, it's not morning. It's not morning anymore. But it's it like will, half. Five. It was when we got up because we had to go to Emma's stupid graduation. It was really boring. That's why I'm wearing earrings that dangle. <laughs> And you're not a student anymore? No. No. I've not really been a student for a while though. No. But we've got really exciting tea. Mm -hmm. Really exciting tea. The story behind me finding this tea was that our other sister also graduated this week. And I could not be bothered going. And you didn't have a ticket. Um, but I wouldn't have gone anyway. <laughs> um, and I went to get a cup of tea instead. I found this tea. In rosary tea. This is a packet of other tea from rosary tea. So I don't have a full packet of this, I just have a little bit, so that we can do a review. It's called A Fragrant Volcano. And it's ready! I'm timing it this time. Look at me, I'm actually being professional and not just going, yeah! <laughs> professional! It looks ready! Phone. I know, right? Um, so let me just get the leaves out. Uh, this little, this cute little bag. Yeah. I bet you could reinfuse it. Oh, you can, you definitely can reinfuse it, because I had two infusions on Tuesday. Um, and the second one was every bit as good as the first, so I'm going to leave you those and you can reinfuse it. Anyway, I thought this was the most incredible tea I'd tried in a very, very long time. And I thought, Emma has to try this tea. Really, 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 she has to try this tea. That's my one. Which is why we're trying to crowd a tea review video into Emma's graduation day, which is proving logistically difficult. Nah, so But we're managing. We also just had high tea. Yeah. With champagne. And... Sandwiches. And reasonable tea, it was alright. Sandwiches were tiny. Sandwiches were tiny, the tea was alright, it wasn't amazing. Like maybe this is we'll post be. a picture of it. So On our Twitter page. Feed. Maybe we will. What do we have on Twitter? Page, feed, list, picture gallery. Tiny little microblog. That's right. what it is technically, isn't it? I don't really know. I don't know. Twitter is not my thing. No, it's not really my thing I'm either. I'm a Twitter person out of us, so. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Twitter. now you should smell this tea and then you should drink this tea. Mmm, refreshing. I say that about a lot of tea though. There's something, I don't know what it is. Tea. It's not quite minty, it is maybe a bit minty. <laughs> Slightly. Yeah. And it, was, it just tastes lots of like fruitiness in it. It's, it's like, like fruit with a hint of mint. Yeah, it's like, it's like refreshing. Mm. Strawberries. 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 I feel so ridiculous. I know, but it's oh it's God, got that. Like, it's so it fruity nice in a way that just most tea isn't at all. It's like an Arctic fire, hmm. but it's like a flowers. it's like a scented tea, but it's not scented tea. It's just tea, just white tea. That's delicious. So, it's not white in colour though. No, it, it's not white. It looks white. almost like a black tea in colour. Almost. It's been brewed for quite a long time. It's a 15 minute brew. Doesn't taste like it. No, no it bitterness. does not. It does not have... No bitterness. No, it doesn't have any tanniny edge to it or anything like that. Just fruit. So, according to the plantation, apparently, they think, and we've not been able to verify this at all, but they think it's the only French tea in the world. So, the last video we did properly was the only Scottish tea. Well, these is, French tea people know how to make tea. They do. This this tea is just... It's not m grown in France. Techni well, it is, technically. But, like, politically what's France, not geographically what's France. Because it's grown in, in the Indian Ocean, on an island which has a big volcano on it. Which is why it's called Fragrant Volcano. I hadn't mentioned that before. This yes. tea is French. I wasn't listening. <laughs> totally mentioned it. Fragrant Volcano! Fragrant Volcano. Not mentioned by Jamie. Bought from Rosebeer Tea. I don't care if you've said this before. I probably have. Yeah, oh, you definitely said Rosebeer. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a packet, but the packet looks a lot like this packet. I've already done that bit. Which, yeah, we're totally not listening to each other today. <laughs> we're so tired. I'm not. This is this, this is another one we'll have to do. This is Indochina Blue. Indo! Which is a Vietnamese oolong tea. We'll do that another day. Hmm, Vietnam. Yeah. Vietnamese food is quite nice. It's, it's really like, good as well. I don't know if this is as good as this though. Like fresh spring rolls, not fried, fresh. Mm, mm. Delicious. They have a big French influence as well. 
you like how we're drinking our French tea? Oh, British mugs. I don't. I don't like these mugs. They're ridiculous. I. I. Well, my one says knitting on it. Your one does say knitting. knitting. I. Mm. Yeah, I don't like these mugs. That's not yours, though, so you can't complain. It's fine. It's fine. It's all right. I like the shape of this mug. It's just like. Oh, I like the shape. Standard. The shape is great. It'd be really good if it was just white, though. No, I've got some of them at work. Yeah. I've got one. Oh. I've got one which is like this, but just black, which I really like. Mm -hmm. And it's painted with um, uh, blackboard paint. Oh, so you can just yeah, yeah, draw yeah. on it in chalk. I like them. No, I've oh, forgotten work, about we've it. We've got white ones, black ones, red ones, turquoise ones, which I like the turquoise ones. However, then we got given a Love Immigration Vote Green mug, and it's like fine china, but a mug size. And I'm like, yes. I like a mug mug. I can feel like I can smack myself in the face with because I probably will at some point. <coughs> It'll be my face that breaks, and no, that's okay because it heals. Whoa. I'm drinking this incredibly good tea very fast. Oh, same. I'm just like, go lump. Are you enjoying it a lot? Yeah, I am. Are you, like, are you very glad that I'm going to leave you the leaves so you can refuse them? It's very delicious, but you know, I had to do it today, otherwise, you know, don't want to leave them too long, they go mouldy. Hmm. We had to do it at least today, like within an hour, really. Well, not necessarily within that, but pretty soon. I'm dribbling it. Oh, bad! You're dribbling precious tea. I was tea. looking at this bot bag, not bot. Mm. Yeah, it, we should say this is. I like it. it doesn't come in a tea bag. It just it happens to be in a in a sample bag. It's pretty much a tea bag. Yeah. Four fresh leaves. Four fresh leaves. You get ones that are made like pillowcases as well. Yeah. It's a bit more fiddly. But if you uh, if you get your your packet like this, it's just loose leaf. I know, but I like having those tea bags. Although I'd rather have like a Mr. Tea. It's reusable. Yeah, so would I. Or <gasps> just um, a teapot with no, a... Sh with no, no, sh I went to the Women's International Climbing Meet, right? And yeah. the woman from New Zealand had a Mr. T. Did she? Yeah. Oh, you should and also... And I was like... And then we were climbing partners that day. And you're like, yeah. Just out of the blue. Yeah. One day we should make it an episode that's just about our various tea infusers. Yeah. You've got your Mr. T. You've got your <gasps> oh! I've got my little rubber duck one. We've also got a Japanese tea you need to do. Yes, I'm intrigued by this Japanese tea. That I you got were I got about. given a small sample, well, a small packet of tea from a Japanese lady. Should we do an episode which is just mystery teas that we don't really know what they are because people have given us them from Asia? Maybe. Because I've got a couple from Hong Kong, one or two from mm. Chongqing. I feel like the one I got deserves a full episode because I, got one I thought it was really nice. So yeah. I want more tea, I don't want more conversation. <laughs> you screw you too. Oh my god, we should have a radio show. <laughs> we should, and then we should just play like Chandra. Chandra and discussion. Too many songs I've made. Yeah. For a shout out. I'm gonna link that below. Awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. amazing. It's amazing. Oh man. So, having had a whole cup. Oh man, this cup, even though the leaves have been taken out, and so the it's tea is exactly the same. It's not stronger, but there's definitely more... That first taste tasted more fruity. Maybe it's just that it's cooler. No, it does taste... No, it does taste cooler. I think it's just that it's cooler. Because it tastes more. It tastes stronger. Apparently. I might have to get hold of a full full bag of this. Um, partly because it's amazing, and partly because apparently you can. it's really good for um, slow infusing. So cold, cold infusion. Oh. So it takes like a day and a half. Like coffee, but tea. Yeah, like a cold brew, that's the term. And yeah, so I think that would be great. Although I do like my tea hot. Yes. But if, it's a, if you do the coffee, then you heat it up afterwards. If you do coffee, you tend to make it incredibly strong and then dilute it with boiling water, but you wouldn't do that with tea, I don't think. Don't know. Russian tea is like that. That is Russian, yes. Yeah. But this isn't a Russian In a tea. samovar. I don't know if that's how you say yeah. it. Yeah. That's how I say it. That's how I say it, but I just... Samovar! Everything. I just keep looking at that bicycle. It's really big. There's a bike across, two bikes across from me. One of them's mine, one of them's not mine. The one that's not mine is massive. One time I rode it, and, and I was like this. Because the handlebars are really wide. On my bike, I'm like, normal. Just like, cycle along. Good. I was like... <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Gives you your wrists, you know, from a weird angle. You're like, oh man. Mm-hmm. Good. 
No, you're, you're a knob. You need more words to do this about what I say. Gray! So I'm thinking of cycling. Oh yeah, you never rode your bike and then I got it. Yeah. It's pretty delicious. It is really delicious. I like it. Mine looks like it has a tiny fish it's, in it, but it's just a leaf. If you know white teas, like, I mean, I guess the most common one would be like a pie me down. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like that. Ish, but with all the extra fruitiness. It's like weird. Like it's kind of got the it's like underlying white tea flavour, but it's actually the, the white tea flavour is actually quite subtle. I don't know. Did you compared ever compared to other white teas? Did Did you ever have any of that like white tea with strawberry? Someone gave me no or white tea with raspberry. It's like that except more delicious. Yeah, I had some white tea with rose. It's mm. kind of like that. It actually has a kind of slightly rose flavour, but it's yeah again. It, but it's just white tea. And, and I'm really sad that this pot is now empty. And you're right. I really want to reinfuse those leaves. If you want, you can. But we have to, I have to go home now. <sighs> so you can reinfuse them and be like... Or you could take your travel mug which you left here. Get your travel mug tastes like coffee forevermore. <laughs> You're right. I was excited for a moment there, and then you reminded me of that, and now I'm sad. None of them are this refreshing and fruity without having fruit in. No. I've got another one from Roseville. Actually, another two from Roseville that we need to do videos on. But one of them in particular I think you're going to really enjoy. Not 100% sure how you pronounce it. I think it's... I'd, I'd have to see it written down. I think it's Guranzi. Hmm. And it's a lot like a Darjeeling. It's sort of a... I think it's called a black tea, but it's not really. It's like an unroasted oolong. Mm. And it, yeah, it's, it's like a Darjeeling. So much darker than the kind of tea I'd normally drink, but much more in the realm of the tea that you'd normally drink. And it's, yeah, it's the first flush from this year. And yeah. Cool. I think that's right up your street. Cool. But it's not this one, which is what we're talking about, which is Fragrant Volcano. Fragrant! It's very would, fragrant. Volcano! It was grown on a volcano. I'd really encourage okay. people who are around Edinburgh to go to Rosie here and try this. And if you're not, and you're just really into tea, they have a website where you can buy it. I think because it's technically in France and everybody gets French wages, it's on the more expensive scale of what, what Rosie tea charge for tea. Which is nineteen pounds for fifty grams. I think it's totally worth that. It's totally delicious. Like, I, I don't know how much <clears> is in that little bag. Fifty grams. This this was also. No, not that little bag. The little bag we have, the one pot little bag, which I think is quite a lot. Of it's really hard to guess now because it's all expanded because it's got water in it. That's true. Never mind. Um, so I'm not going to even hazard a guess. You should definitely hazard a guess. But an, a regular. This is. This is a fifty gram bag. So, this much tea. Hmm. Um, so yeah, there's loads of pots. I mean, I've already, actually, the, I've already done like two or three pots out of that, that bag. And there's still those left. Delicious. Yeah. Fruity and yeah. delicious. The white tea, the white tea flavour is actually probably the most subtle flavour in there. And then it's got all the lovely volatile esters, which is why I guess it's called fragrant, and it's called volcano because it's from next to a volcano. Makes sense. It's it's a pretty straightforward get what you say on the tin kind of name, unless you're expecting an actual volcano. And you're like, mm, that and volcano if you're smells good. Expecting that in a bag of tea, you'd be a weirdo. Mm. Have you anything else found about it? No. It's delicious. It is. It's really good. On that note, on that note, shall we go? Because my tea's finished. Done. The whole pot's finished. Now the whole pot's finished. That was a fast pot. And then I'm like, ding, ding.